All right. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you stopping by. Hope you're well. Looks like we got a certification, made a couple million dollars on the first day. Good morning, shipbreaker. Links would like to share the following message. The only piece permitted in the salvage yard. Looking good, Cutter. Now go ahead and pick another ship. All right, let's check out our equipment. I'm not sure if we can upgrade yet. Let's take a look at it here. So, uh, we got a sticker. I'm not which I'm not sure which one we unlocked there. Oh, here we go. This one right here. Put a little sticker on. So right now all of our equipment's good. We're in, uh, we got six repair kits, but everything's 100%. We're still in training here. You can't upgrade yet. It's not an option. Let's go ahead and pick our next ship. So we got some hazard level twos. We'll get level five. We'll get a free repair kit. We hit salvage level five on this ship. And you hit a higher salvage level by not destroying stuff. All right. Hold up a second there, Gunner. Because you increased your rank. We're going to give you the next grade of ship. Now this one, we full of machinery, electronics, furniture, all stuff that links can collect and resell. You're going to want to throw those items on the barge. That's, uh, the big green thing below you. Go ahead and have a look. Toss any valuable objects or components down there. Don't worry about breaking anything. There's a damn backfield that'll catch everything. Works great. Most of the time. Let's give it a go. Salvage secured. Applying credit. All right, so here's a danger. Danger Will Robinson, a fuel tank. Don't want to shoot that with the cutter. It will blow up, catch fire, damage you, damage your suit, um, hurt the ship, all the above. Be careful not to overheat your cutter. You see the cutter temp. You can look at your scanner mode. Pushing up on the D-pad, it'll show you those cut points. So if you're looking for those. So 
You'll see it disappear there. As you can see, I just killed myself. So, no big deal. It's going to happen. They're going <laughs> to. I killed myself. I had. Uh, I thought I was onto that smaller piece, but apparently I was on the ship. So. Okay. Got yourself good here. Don't sweat. Happens to the best of us. Always good to review your spare replacement form. See how you can avoid future. This is so. Rack up the debt, and that's how they get you. Okay, let's get back to work. We were out. So I'm not sure where the piece was I was trying to lock on to, but I thought I was moving this uh, front piece. But as you can see, that's a lot bigger than me. So I tried to use the square to push. And what it did was it just uh, slammed my face off the ship or whatever. And I died. So that's what happened. Happens pretty quick. So the goal right now, they just want five barge objects. So if you hover over them, you'll see the green barge um, icon. It tells you where you're supposed to uh, salvage stuff. So a lot of times it can be some high dollar stuff like the engine and things like that will go into the barge. Pop this off, maybe. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. There we go. As you can see, there's some fuel tanks right there hiding. You don't want to shoot those. There's some soft crates up there. You'll, there's another fuel tank over there. Those are things that will blow up and cause you problems. Again, your scanner will show you. Um, that's cut points. R1 will show you systems and objects. We don't have all that unlocked yet. We're, we're still new, so we'll get that unlocked as we go. Also got a helmet light if you want to. I usually don't, but it, if you need to, it's there. So if you look, that doesn't fit out there, but you can move it out of your way. Get, to try to get around it here to get up in the ship. So there's a asteroid shard. If you look, there's a lot of stuff, just loose stuff in here.
those little panels off. Got that pretty quickly. Now, let me teach you about the kiosk. Once the training wheels come off, Link's regulations mean you gotta cover your own oxygen and fuel costs. That's the way things go. Turn it on now. Now, no need to panic. They'll last you a good while. But if you end up running out, you gotta top up with the kiosk over there. Let's have a look. All right, you'll use this quite a bit. We don't need anything at the moment. Pretty easy, right? All right, I'll leave you to it. We'll chat again when you hit the next plane. We've arrived. All right, so now we got to watch our fuel, our health, our oxygen. Make sure we got repair kits, that sort of thing. So. Let's go ahead and get this other wing off here, or whatever you want to call it. So what I like to do, if I can, is get in between the hull and the ship and then start taking the skin off the, sh the hull. So if you look, this this is where I'm talking about. Get inside this uh, area here. Now this is a light, we wanna pull this off. It can shock you, so best to not be super close to it if you're gonna pull it off. If you look, another thing that I noticed um, this looks like it has power or whatever. There's lights on here, so it's like okay. Does it does it have fuel? So it might have fuel in it. Um, Sometimes you got to cut that fuel switch to drain those uh, before you pull that off. So again, just be aware. Uh, what we should be able to do here is uh, we just got to be careful with the fuel tanks. Here's a repair kit we can grab. Uh, and we won't, we can collect that now. Uh, that won't be an instant use, um, like some of the stuff. And all these little panels we got to pull off. Um, all these lights, all these chairs, they all got to come off. But one of the things we can do
this ship's not pressurized. So we can do this. I'm getting sucked out the front here. Glass is not very valuable. piece is a little more valuable. So we can start pulling stuff out the front here as well. You got to be careful when you're bringing stuff to you. So now as you can see our oxygen's getting low. We're getting the warning sign. Remember, you can grapple and then reel yourself in. Welcome to so we'll buy an oxygen. You can also do the th same thing to get back to the ship. You just don't want to be going too fast. You will kill yourself if you bust your helmet open. So let's uh, let's get a few of these sides off over here. Then we got to be careful. There's fuel tanks back there. Get that opened up a little bit, it'll get a little easier here. You also have a time limit on your shift. We haven't hit those yet. That will come into play. So there was still glass on that piece. As you can see the negativity. Again, we got those fuel tanks back in the back. You want to be aware. So right here, if you shoot straight back here and you miss, you might find yourself getting into the fuel tank back there. You gotta kind of imagine an imaginary line between where you're aiming and where you're shooting. See if the laser is gonna clear. So we should be able to get this out here. You gotta like small spaces to do this job. That'll allow us to 
get out of here. There still may be a door inside here. We didn't have power, so we really can't remove it. So. Just wanna make sure there's no lights or anything on there. piece goes into the barge the little panels on the side of it they go on the barge as well so in that situation you don't got to separate them you just throw them both barge. you can try to pull this little stuff out here and when you're pulling stuff towards you, you just got to be careful. You can uh, pull it out too fast and um, hit yourself with it. Hey, and you, I need you to head back to the kiosk on the starting platform to fill up your own two staff. As you can see, we're getting low on oxygen again. Let's get after it here. So one of the things you can do, and, uh, you gotta take everything off, even these little lights. run it to the side so that uh, you're not bringing it right back at yourself. You can see that panel's loose. I wasn't sure at first. So it's really your choice how you dismantle it. There's some things you got to kind of do little bit of it in order but not really so is this loose it, it does appear to be loose so we can as long as there's no um, lights or anything on it we can just send it straight in um, now this piece is a good one so if you look this is the skin so this goes in the processor this is a cargo hatch that goes into the uh, barge as you can see that's all still attached so that's a little trickier so. Uh, we'll go 
all that out. It's good money. All right, so let's take a look at this. Uh, let's go ahead and get some of this off here. We can also um, start pulling these panels off inside. Lights. Let's let them flow around. Not hurt anything. So, again, if you look, I'm kind of the opposite of the... Uh, facing the different direction of the fuel tanks. As you can see, I'm moving this thing around. Got a lot of loose stuff here. So facing down like that's pretty good. Because I can get below it here. If this is all furnace. Got this over here now. Oops. So if this is all furnace, which it looks like it is, just want to make sure there's no panels in there. They're still attached like this. That'll penalize you. So we're low on uh, oxygen again. So let's go back over here. So let's see where we're at here. Uh, normally you'll be limited by shifts as well. Again, we don't have that time constraint yet because we're still uh, in training mode here to some extent. So let's look up here. So if we're not sure, we're gonna go inside here and check this out, make sure this is all furnace. So if you look, there's a light, it's loose. There's two lights. But it looks like all the panels that are mounted are gone. So. Since my barge is straight down, we can just shove that stuff out. And then we'll try to move this dude over here. But it's pretty heavy still. So we'll try to get it going that way. And that's just with the square, the push. That's how I killed myself earlier. As you can see, it did not make it. There it goes. There was still a door in there. We can't do anything about that. Because, because the ship was not powered. So don't get too upset about a lot of losses. But if I'm trying to get level 5, 
It'll show you the red line up there to the right. That's what's been destroyed. So we're still uh, nowhere near the amount of destroyed stuff to prevent us um, from hitting, hitting that next level. See if we can pull this loose here. As you can see, this is loose now. slow to react looks like it's not perfect but uh, I can wiggle this out This asteroid chart is very heavy. Kind of doing what it wants to do at this point. So, as you can see, low on oxygen again. fuel either so we did not get credit for the fuel tank either that's saying it's not in so we didn't get credit for that there was also the uh, one of the fuel tanks I didn't see us get credit for there we go thing is so heavy. Thank you. 
Alright. Still no credit for it. Not very valuable. All right, let's get this other fuel tank out. So it's loose. Got a lot of stuff in here, little stuff, little tedious stuff. tank is still there. Still a very real threat, even if it's uh, loose. And I think it's still full of fuel, which is why I'm having trouble with it. Awfully close to that fuel tank. All right, guys, I think we're going to call it a day there. I do appreciate you stopping by the channel. I hope you're doing well. Don't forget to make sure you're subscribed. I appreciate you. Until next time, have fun gaming. I'm out of here. Instead of buying the stuff, we're going to just go on in. Three million. New certification level attained. License level increased. Hello, ship breaker. Overnight genetic backup complete. Pattern deviation nominal. Have a good day. Thank you.
Hey, Kurt, I'm looking at the stats coming from your bay, and it's looking like you're really going to make your way around here. 